I'm continuing this series on the top five undervalued crypto altcoins that I'm interested in. And today I'm going to share with you pick number three. Now, I want to share with you my number three altcoin at this is at current prices and where we're at in the greater crypto cycle. It is a blockchain gaming token. It has potential for massive gains. Yet there are also some risks. Before you say rain. I'm all in, first consider a few things. All of my picks have risks. That is why there is so much potential for gains. I'm not telling you to buy them. I'm telling you that I've bought them and the reasons why I like them and also the risks that I'm very aware of. Now, my number three altcoin pick is Illuvium. This is a game I've been following since 2021. It performed massively well, at least their token price did, during the bull run of 2021, but has then been massively punished by the bear market. And the price is close to 95% down from the highs it reached back in 2021, even though the game is very close to the launch of the public beta, which you will actually be able to play the game and keep what you earn. The token price has been decimated and is abysmally cheap. Now, as an investor, I know that key number one to massive gains is buy low and sell high. Okay, so the price is down 95% from before, which means it's at least low from what it has been. Additional questions are, how is the project doing as far as surviving? See, game development with great artists and developers is expensive. Does the game have enough money which provides a development runway that it will survive until the game is turning a profit? Or perhaps at least it survives until the next blow off top of the bull run, in which case the token price may go up extraordinarily and I can take massive games, even if the game itself is not yet profitable on a month to month basis. While well, Luvium was at a pretty risky stage about six months back, they still had some runway, but the end of that runway, before they ran out of money, well, the end of that runway was getting closer and closer. And it seems that they did a private funding round and I believe raised another 10 to 12 million, if I'm remembering correctly, which greatly extended their runway and made me as an investor a lot more comfortable that they have enough runway to survive until their game launches and they start bringing in revenues or the blow off top of this bull run happens and I can comfortably take massive profits even if the game isn't yet turning a profit. Now I've been heavily involved in playing the early alpha and closed beta rounds of this game and I find their gameplay enjoyable and their Pokemon style of game where you are trying to capture their monsters to be able to then battle them on your side it unlocks a massive appetite in people who like collecting. And I think this game will be a success as one of the first AAA blockchain games to be ready for public play, as well as it's interesting enough gameplay to catch some major attention worldwide. I think that that is how it's going to play out. Now, just because I've been right in the past on some massive gainers on some of the other blockchain games, it doesn't mean that I'll be right this time but I do like my odds. Now, many of you know, back in 2019, I invested in Axie Infinity. If you know that, you probably know that for two years, it did terrible. The price went massively down before then going so massively up that it sometimes is easy to forget that for the two, first two years, it pretty much only went down. Now, there were two points where it was a bit shaky on if the company had enough runway to continue. Now, Axie Infinity was able to secure some private funding, which helped to have enough runway. And then in 2021 became one of the biggest successes of that 2021 crypto bull run. Will Luvium do that same thing in this upcoming bull run? Well, I hope so. We will find out, but I have personally taken some significant bets on them. The second part to why I'm betting on Illuvium has to do with their team. Now, some of the blockchain projects that I or blockchain gaming projects that I like have gaming development 
industry veterans in chief positions like games for a living. Luvium doesn't have that. It's being developed by some crypto first people who played games when they were younger. And I normally would not bet on a team like this. But I invite you to watch videos with Kieran Warwick or his brothers and see if you see the same things that I see. That is, or that thing that I really like, is absolute tenacity. One of the key things I like to see in a leadership team is a person or a team with a track record of defying the odds. With a track record of making things happen where they refuse to lay down and quit. Now, Kieran oozes that. And so part of what I'm betting on is that Kieran doesn't give up when things don't go his way. He and his team find new ways to turn a potential loss or failure into a win. Now, I do really like the Alluvian team, even most of the, even though most of them don't have tons of industry experience like I would normally require. I rank sheer tenacity as a more important trait than a decade of experience in blockchain gaming development. Now, he's not new to leadership. He's been doing that since he was young. His brother also launched one of the most more successful crypto projects in the space, and that comes with connections. But also, um, <laughs> the Warwick brothers all seem to ooze that tenacity, and I think that's part of the reason his brother's project was such a massive success. Now, the third thing I like about Alluvium has to do with timing. I personally found that the sweet spot that I like is projects that launched between three to six years ago and their token price has been absolutely devastated by the bear market. The token price is cheap. And yet we now have a three to six years background on the team, their commitment to the project. And this history on them gives me great information as an investor. In 2021, I invested in a lot of pre-sales and some of them did incredibly well and many failed completely. And what I found is it's hard to gauge the team really when the project is just barely starting. But three to six years in, you have so much more information on them. So I very rarely jump into pre-sales these days, much preferring to buy on the open market project, uh, much preferring to buy on the open market projects that I think their prices have been decimated by the bear market. And I can see how their team has performed over the past number of years and how they're performing when things are bad for them. Stay tuned in the upcoming week for more of my top massively undervalued altcoin picks. Also, if you haven't already checked out my Zero Day Crypto Hero course, you might consider it. Now, if you stayed this long, I'm going to reward you. I just released a new course on blockchain investing. The link is below. If you will DM me on my Instagram, I will send you one of the 500 codes for the first 500 people to get the course completely free. Otherwise, it is $200. Now, my Instagram, I will show you here, is the real crypto rain. Now you're going to DM me, you're going to follow me and then DM me and then I will go dig those DMs out of my spam box and I will send you one of those first 500 codes to get the course for free. All right. Well, we are in the early bull market, but sometimes the only early bull market doesn't feel like it yet. The blow off top hasn't happened. The 300x increases on some projects hasn't happened yet. We are barreling towards that point. I don't know if it'll come later this year or sometime next year, but the probabilities that it plays out that way are really strong. And I'm liking this. So hopefully you're taking advantage of these low prices on many projects, not just Alluvium, but others. We'll see you all soon.